So for this DIY you will need some duct tape and some scissors, cord and a hole punch is optional. So the first thing you'll need is your duct tape. Now I wanted to measure a bookmark and I did that just by grabbing an average size book and I just wanted to make sure that it was a little bit longer than the pages but it's up to you what size you'd like to do. You can get so many patterns on duct tape now. If you like this one that I'm using, the sunflowers, I bought this in Hobbycraft and I'll leave the link in the description box. So I just measured the duct tape slightly lower than the page. So we need two pieces roughly the same length and we need to stick those together. If you get any air bubbles, don't worry, just take a pin and then prick a hole in it and it should smooth out. So that's just what I'm doing here. I'm just making sure that I'm pressing it carefully so there's no trapped air bubbles. And if you don't get it exactly even it doesn't matter because we're going to add some more tape on the sides of this bookmark now you can keep it like this this is just two sides of tape it's very flexible as you can see it's very thin but I want to make it more sturdy so I'm going to add some more so for this third piece of tape I'm just roughly placing it in the middle of the bookmark and I'm bending it around the side and then making it as smooth as possible So I'm going to do the same again with the fourth piece of duct tape and I'm trying to place it in the centre as much as possible and then bend it around the sides and try to smooth it out as much as possible. So it is up to you what stage you would like to stop and how many pieces of duct tape you would like for your bookmark. So here I am adding number five and number six. So on either side because I wanted mine with no lines down the middle and as you can see it's much thicker when I try to bend it. So I'm just cutting off the ends to make it nice and neat either side and then I'm just rounding off the four edges just because it looks much softer and this is the way that a lot of my bookmarks look. So with this DIY you can totally personalise it to yourself and you can give them away as gifts and they're really nice as well. So if you wanted to add a hole and then a loop like some bookmarks are, I just got a hole punch and then I just got some cord and mine here is just a natural hemp cord and I liked it because it was green so it went with the sunflowers. So I tied a knot in one end and I just threaded it through the hole and then pulled it tight and then this is another look if you wanted or you can leave it just plain. So it's totally up to you, it's a very very quick DIY and you can personalise it and you can have it at different stages of thickness. So I hope this video Video was helpful and I will leave a link in the description box to the pattern of my duct tape and this was a really quick cheap and easy DIY